Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy, providing lots of helpful tips and advice on your Squarespace website, website strategy, and online tech. Today, I wanna show you something really cool that you can do with a summary block. It does involve some code, but it's really, really easy. And this question came up in a Facebook group that I like to contribute to. This person was actually looking for a plugin that would allow her to display products from her Squarespace shop on the homepage of her website in a way that would transition between images and also put them in a randomized order. I figured out how to get them to transition. I have not figured out how to put them in a randomized order. I'm not really sure the value of that. There is a plugin available that you can buy that will do this for you, I think but I would never pay for a plugin when I can do it myself. <laughs> That's just me. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so here I am on my dummy website. I've added a blank section, and now I'm going to add a summary block. Here's a page from the Squarespace Help Center describing what a summary block is. And what a summary block does is it basically just pulls in information from another location on your website and displays it on another page. So you can pull information from blog posts, event pages, store pages, and video pages. But in this case, we're going to be pulling content from the shop. So I'm going to select edit and select a page, and this is the shop. I'm going over to design. And let's just say I wanna display like a whole bunch of them, okay? But I don't want any of this information. I don't want the title. We do want the image because if we unclick that, then it goes away and the whole point is to show the image. Maybe we don't want the excerpt or the price. We really just want the image to be displayed. We need to select the carousel option and we only want one item per row. Examine it, make sure it looks okay. You might wanna change the size. I'll just make it a square, which is funny because it actually doesn't look like a square. <laughs> what I had before looked like a square and it wasn't. Okay, whatever. And then you're gonna see that it automatically puts in this word featured, just delete it. So now we have our summary block and we can resize this. Okay, so I just made it a little bit smaller. Now I want to add the code. So I'm going to save this and exit. Now I'm going to head over to the settings for this page. I've just called it summary block. I'm going to select the settings. I'm going into advanced and I'm going to add this code. And I will put this code in the blog post underneath the video because YouTube doesn't let you put codes there anymore. And save. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's see if I can change the speed. I'm gonna go back into the code. I don't know, let me mess around with this. One way to tell is to make this number drastically different. So I'm changing it from 3,000 to 10,000 and you and I are gonna witness this for the first time. And it looks like it's taking a very long time. All right, so that's how you adjust the speed. What that number actually stands for, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. Let me change it to 200 and see what happens. This should go a lot faster, I bet. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Let's change it to 2000 and see what that looks like. You do have to exit if you want to actually see this there. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to just go back into edit mode so I can show you that when you're in edit mode, it doesn't actually auto scroll. You have to be out of edit mode in order to actually see it auto scroll. All right. And this is 2000 this number here, but the code I'm going to give you is going to say 3000 and there it is. So that's kind of cool. I would not recommend using this for blog posts because that'll get frustrating to people. You do have to be careful with your scrolling content. I would not do this if the intention is to have the visitor actually click on it because they'll get very frustrated only to display something visually. Let's see what it looks like if I have two items per row. I'm gonna save this and exit, and let's just see what it looks like. So there's another way to do it. Personally, I think it is more effective if you just have one. I hope that you found that helpful. And if you did, 
please give it a like, follow me here on YouTube. And if you think that you know someone that could use a little bit of help with this, share it with them. Most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.